Hello YouTube, it's PZGS Scene here. Today I'm going to be doing an update video because i got several things to talk about, so let's go and get into it. Uh, first thing I'd like to talk about is the Kindle. Um, the software finally updated itself, which is pretty cool. Um, it, excuse me, it updated yesterday, um, which is pretty neat. What I had done was I, had, uh, I turned it on to um, see if I could get the software to update, and uh, I couldn't get it to do it. Uh, I couldn't get the software to start downloading. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do that. Um, so then, you know, after maybe about maybe two or three minutes of tinkering around with it, I finally decided to give up and I put it in sleep mode. All right, then I went outside to uh, I guess go on the computer or something. Uh, then I come back in and it's not it's no longer in sleep mode. I'm like, what the heck? I swear I put that in sleep mode. But then as I looked at it, this is what I saw. Something looked vaguely different. And I can't figure out what it was. Something just looked different. Alright, I and I mean it doesn't look too different to me anymore, but it just looked different for some reason. Uh, it just seemed like something was different about it. So I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't this just doesn't feel right. So uh what I then did was I went into my settings. And again I'm gonna have to cover this up, but when I went into my settings, um it said that 3.1 was my current software. So I'm like, holy crap, it finally updated. Sweet. Uh, so I haven't really explored it too much. One of the things I've noticed um, was that in books, let me show you uh, with this book. Uh, if you look down here, it no longer shows you your, lo your location. Uh, actually, let me back out or go back a page. It no longer shows you your location in the book. Uh, it just tells you how much of the book you've read. As you can see by the 59% uh, there. So it just tells you how much of the book you've read. Um, I can't figure out how to do the uh, page numbers. It still looks like it says uh, location and then the numbers. Um, I'm guessing the page numbers are either something that the publisher needs to format the books for. Or, um, I don't know, maybe the publisher just has to accept that or something. I don't know. Uh, but I'm guessing it's some sort of a formatting thing. Maybe not all the uh, <clears throat> authors have... Uh, done that yet. Um, so I'm definitely uh, glad to see that I got the new update finally, so that was good. Um, it was very weird though, it, it really did not look like it was downloading anything. I really wish that Amazon would give an indication that something was downloading and something was going on with the software, so I don't know, maybe it's just me, um, but that's, uh, that's that, so finally got uh, that software update installed. Um, pretty cool. Okay, something else uh, that I did yesterday. Um, yesterday I got to kind of, sort of, you could say, skip school. Uh, although I didn't really skip school. What I had done, I went to school for like uh, 30 minutes. Uh, I took a, uh, you know, I went in civics. And then uh, at 9.30 I left school and I went to a TSA competition. I had my camera. I was taking videos of it. or I did take videos. Uh, but the battery died. And unfortunately, I hate this. I accidentally formatted the memory card. <sighs> so, I'm sorry. You're not going to get to see those. Uh, but the battery did die on me um, in the middle of filming. So I'm thinking, hmm, this isn't good. I need to get some more batteries for my camera. Uh, so I went a few, uh, like, I actually didn't film anymore after the battery died. I just kind of gave up on filming. Uh, but I wanted to get some more batteries, you know, just in case I need. I wanted to film something. Um, and so I, I went into this, uh, you know, we are eating lunch. Um, Oh, by the way, where I was at, <laughs> I haven't told you where I'm at yet, I was at a, um, a TSA competition, which stands for Technology Students of America or something like that, um, and we just went there just to spectate, we had no idea what was going on, uh, we're still trying to learn everything, we started literally like last month, um, so we're trying to figure out everything that's going on and such, so uh, that's we mainly went there just to spectate and figure out, get gather more information on it. Um, so that's what it was, and I was I was doing a bit of a vlog there, but unfortunately the camera batteries died, and I just formatted the memory card, which kind of sucks. So, but I needed batteries. So, um, we're eating lunch, all right. So I decided to go and eat lunch, and uh, after I ate my lunch, uh, before we ate lunch, actually, I was told that there was a bookstore uh, on the camp. It was at a, a college. Um, uh, I was told that there was a bookstore, and they might have batteries. So I'm like, hmm, all right, I'll check that place out. Uh, so after I'm done eating lunch, I go to the bookstore and uh, to see if they have batteries. And um, what I find is something that I absolutely did not expect to find. I found what you could probably describe 
is a miniature Best Buy slash Apple store in that bookstore. It wasn't an Apple store, and it wasn't a Best Buy, but they had a little a little corner dedicated to Apple products, basically. Not de well, yeah, you could say dedicated. Uh, they had iPads, iPhones, iPod Touch. Actually, no iPhones, but they did have iPads, iPod Touches, MacBooks, iMacs, and all that stuff. And they had this uh, one uh, cage there with a bunch of uh, access Mac accessories and iPod accessories and even iPods. And I'm like, dude, this is really cool. And I also saw some cases that... I was hoping to get a case, but I my main focus was on batteries, and I had in my hand at the time a little two-pack of uh, Duracell batteries that I was going to use, but um, I decided not to get those, and I went ahead and actually got one of these. That's right, I actually got the uh, Apple battery charger, um, and uh, here it is right now. Uh, I've got it attached to a extension cord, uh, so I can continue to charge. As you can see, these batteries are still charging I I would people have been saying on the internet to uh, wait for this light to turn off uh, before taking the batteries out which unfortunately takes six hours for the light to turn off finally uh, but they say that gives the best results so I'm gonna wait for the batteries to turn off or for the light to turn off I did actually unplug this while uh, these are charging so I could do an initial review which I do have on the camera that is still on there in fact I'll prove it to you uh, I may or may not whoa I may or may not upload it though there's part of it. Um, I may or may not upload it though because uh, it is a little bit of a long video, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I do have the uh, Apple battery charger. Um, so yeah, the batteries are really cool. Um, here's some batteries I have out. These I've already charged up with it. Uh, they're very generic looking batteries. Um, there's no branding on them whatsoever. Um, they look like run-of-the-mill cheapo rechargeable batteries, but they are not. They don't feel like cheapo batteries. I mean, these actually feel very high quality. Um, and, I mean, you know, they're just nice batteries. Um, so, these will hold like 80% of their charge uh, over a year. Of, uh, after a year of standby, they'll still have 80% of their charge in them. So, that is a huge deal. That is awesome. Um, and I believe their shelf life is like 10 years or something. So, that's obviously excellent. Um, I've been using these. Um, in fact, my camera, I still have some of those in here. Um, I'm working on charging up the batteries, uh, all the Apple batteries, before I officially switch. Uh, if I do switch, I don't know. Um, but they're just uh, batteries, so... Uh, the, these energizers here will make good backup batteries for if I need backups or something, or if I need extra... Actually, what I'm probably going to do with these uh, energizer batteries, I'm probably going to put them in my label maker. Because I need some uh, batteries in those, so I'll probably have to uh, recharge these up and put them in the label maker. Um, so, anything else I can really talk about? I wanted to talk about my past few videos a little bit, just briefly. Um, they haven't been what I normally make videos about there. Uh, like, my last video was me literally cutting in half a poker chip. Um, I wanted to do, well, uh, I wanted to, uh, I did that, I didn't, well, okay. I want to start with the poker chip review. Um, the main reason why I did those, uh, videos about the poker chips and the cards, uh, were honestly because I just felt like it. I'm like... You know what? I want to do a review on some poker chips, and that's exactly what I did. I just did a review on the poker chips. That's how I do my videos. When I feel like doing a video, I do a video. Um, <laughs> um, if I feel like doing a video on a specific, a specific thing, then I'll do the video on it. So that's what that was all about. And um, I have to say, yes, it was a bit of a shock. I mean, I didn't really give you guys any heads up that oh, guys, get ready, I'm going to do a poker chip video, but I'm not actually officially switching over to like poker chips and playing cards and such. I just wanted to review them, because I do think I did, in one video promise, I would do a review on them. Um, I do still need to do a review on the uh, Belkin Grip View. That's going to come whenever I f can. Um, I might do it today, might not do it today, it depends. Today I'm just kind of feeling like one of those days where I just want to do whatever. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go now. I'm going to keep this one part, so... Uh, anyway, that was what that was all about. It's just that I felt like doing them, so I did them anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, and the, the me cutting the poker chip in half was out of my own curiosity, but I also said in the review I might make a video of me cutting a poker chip in half to see what's going on inside of them. Um, so, anyway, that was, that's what that was all about. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video, which will probably be a initial review on this. I don't know. I did not do an unboxing, so that's why I did an initial review. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not sure I'll upload that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go now. Adios.